95 Toyota Tacoma four wheel drive, got brand new tires on it, lift kit, man, what a good looking truck. As you can see, we like Toyotas. Look across the road over there. Whoa, ho, ho. another one. Now that one's pretty cool as well. But anyways, we're gonna hop in this little Tacoma with Jesus and see what Jesus thinks about Tacoma. What's up, buddy? Say hey to everybody. Hey, hey. <laughs> we're putting Jesus on YouTube today. But anyways, let's go ahead and drive her down the road and see what this little truck is all about. Now, as we know, it's just a little four cylinder truck, but it's got four wheel drive, roll up windows. You know, if you're a Jeep Wrangler fan like I am, You'll love a Toyota Tacoma as well. They call them the Taco. So stay with us. This truck does got some miles on it, 221, but hey, it's made to last. gas and see what she does three two one so if Jesus gets a truck everybody he would actually use a truck for a work truck and uh, you know what that's what's great about trucks is they make you money and uh, if you got a truck you can always make some money somewhere or another way you know but um you know tires are a little noisy but that's kind of normal on bigger tires like this right Got the little mud grips on them and all. You know, it does got a little bit of a lift kit, but I mean, realistically, my hands aren't on the steering wheel and it's driving pretty straight for the most part. So alignment's good. All right, guys, I think it's checking out all right. my shot ruined it um, when you're looking at you know older trucks like this right here or this right here which well, that technically is not for sale the red one but you know here we got a, a 95 Toyota Tacoma which looks great it's a nice little truck for the most part right but it's got 225,000 miles on it so in reality it's a little bit more difficult to get financing done on a truck like that because most of your loan companies or banks or whatnot they're just not going to put a risk out there and go hey let's do a loan for basically 8900 which is nine thousand dollars and then when you get tax involved in it you're looking at 9500 or even if we make him a little bit better deal whatever that may be it's still a lot of money to uh to do a loan on a 95 with 225 on the miles so with that being said as i explained to him and his mom earlier it's really going to have to be more of a cash deal where they come in and just pay cash for it now previously where i worked at we did buy here pay here financing so you know that's what she was thinking when she saw me she's like well we could put you know two thousand dollars down and just finance it in-house but we don't offer that particular type of finance program here at our store and uh so you'll have to go through a bank or whatnot so anyways other options always available though they could find something maybe a little bit newer with less mileage on it and go that route so anyways moving on though and we're going to take a quick look at the Toyota Tacoma while we got a minute and see what this truck looks like all these years later so if you're a fan of Toyotas I mean man here's two really good looking Tacomas sitting right here now this red one again is not for sale it's one of the guys that works here at our store it's his personal vehicle which he loves to death but um and i really like that little truck man it looks so cool with the red and the black wheels and everything i mean wow what a neat little neat one for sure but anyways so um what we're looking at right now is tacomas this right here technically isn't really considered to be a tacoma and here comes Chris. But what's going on, bud? That's a good lunch. Well, see, he's bringing lunch. Bringing lunch in. Are you gonna tell the folks this might be a stolen truck here shortly? No, I wasn't Eric getting in. Eric has no idea. Really? Yeah, he has no idea. See, this guy's just coming up with ideas. He might just look different. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, guys. Eric's probably not going to watch this video, so we know he's not going to know what's going on, but Chris is going to take this truck, steal this truck, as he says, and he's actually going to take it. How I would like it to be. And he's going to paint it the way he wants it to be, and, and I guess he's just going to have to deal with it, but I, as I'm looking at it, I really like the red with the black. It looks, it's just got that classic Toyota Tacoma look about it. 
Yeah, it really is cool. So we might brighten up the color a little bit and make this thing look really sweet. Or he may ruin it and paint it uh, bright yellow. Who knows? I got the logo on there. SMC. But this, guys, as y'all know, this is a really sweet little truck here. It's a great rock climber. And uh, the guy that owns it, Eric, he really has. That's what, well, that's what the truck's intended for, is go out off-road and have a little fun. So we're going to get into the white truck here in just a minute but we're showing you this one for just a quick moment again not a tacoma okay but take a look he's got his winch on the front i love the steel front bumpers here I'll probably edit this out but you want any food yeah i'm coming i'm coming okay. i'm, co I'm going to eat <laughs> yes i'm definitely going to eat me some chicken because i'm hungry now you got leaf spring suspension under the front this truck over here does not have leaves. It's got independent suspension all the way around. But this is that old school, you know. Check it out. It got the Bilsteins up underneath. I'm liking that. And, uh, you know, it's not, it's not rusted out. I mean, this thing's actually pretty well taken care of besides the faded red paint on it. I mean, this is the real deal, y'all. Look at this. I mean, he's definitely had a little fun with it. Big hook on there. Got his tools in the back toolbox. Take a look at the rear. Yeah, look at that. I mean, we can actually climb under here and have a look around. Wow, wait. I'm liking it. I really am. And it's nice to see this here at the store. Kind of, kind of brings me back to what I've been doing for the last year or so. And I really have missed the four-wheel drive stuff. So. It's uh, it's fun seeing some some Toyotas. Anyways, look at the inside of this thing. There you go. I hope everybody's enjoying the video. We'll definitely have to uh, do like an in-depth review about the truck and take it out for a ride and all that. So, anyways, stay with us. That will come sooner or later. But here's the one we just drove. It's just as cute as can be. It's a Toyota. Look at it. What a good-looking little truck this is. A lot of potential for sure. Um, you know, you could buy it and just do, you know, drive it and do what you want to do with it. I mean, you got your little hockey pucks under there. Got the little bars on the side. I'd like to see more of like a rock slider on the side of this one. But that works. Back windows open and closed. I love the little blue stripes little 3a racing exhaust pipe down there which definitely needs to be tightened down bed liner let's look underneath there we go looking pretty decent fifth wheel right under there not too bad that's your 95 tacoma y'all let's take a look at this we got some little dickies seat covers how about that dicky seat covers a sunroof which definitely looks like the sunroof was probably custom done um i don't think these came with sunroofs at all and i know a lot of people are probably wondering does it leak i have no idea i won't know until we get some rain but uh radio shack a cb radio going on in here when radio shack was around four-wheel drive automatic -er. but there you have it if you're looking for something like this Hit your boy up, Chad. And again, we will do an in-depth review on both of these trucks real soon. This is just kind of a little vlog today while out and about here in Charleston. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go have some Cane's chicken, and we'll see you on the next video. Make sure you like, comment, and you got it. Subscribe.